Masechus Bavakame Daf Nun Zayin Amud Aleph in the bottom of the page. Today's Daf is Nun Zayin Amud Beis, but Nun Zayin Amud Aleph at the very, very bottom of the page is where we are. Um, a very important introduction is needed, and obviously this year, as always, is Leilu Nishma Slavi Moyer Menachem Ben Akiva, and Leilu Nishma Slavas Moshe Leilu Nishma Leilu Nishma Slavas Bas Shalom. So, we said yesterday, we spoke yesterday about Mechlokas Rabba and Rav Yosef regarding whether a Shomer of Veda, a person looking after a lost object, whether he's considered to be a Shomer Socho or a Shomer Chinam. Is he a Shomer Socho, says Rav Yosef? Why? Because he's Actually, he gets away without giving tzedakah while he's looking after the Aveda. So that is like a sechar. He actually gets some kind of indirect financial benefit from looking after the Aveda. Well, Rabbi said is a Shomer Chinam. Then we attacked Rav Yosef. The Gemara asked the question, Abai asked Rav Yosef, don't you, do you, do you really believe that a Shomer Aveda is a Shomer Sochar? Look, I'll prove you wrong. We see in a different uh, b'raisa, we see that Toyen Tainus Ganava Veda Mishalom Tashlumi Kefel. Yeah, we can actually look it up in the Gemara over here. A Toyen Tainus Ganava Veda Mishalom Tashlumi Kefel. What does that mean? Toyen Tainus Ganav is going to be the star of the show today, so you better listen to what that means. Toyen Tainus Ganav is a Shomer, usually a Shomer Chinam, that made a Shvua. He made a Shvua, he swore. He said, I swear that the thing was stolen from me. Because of Moshe Machinam, it's Potter, it's Gneva. And therefore, I'm Potter. And had he been believed, then he would really be Potter. Now it came out that he's lying. He was lying through his teeth, he's a Nishbel Sheker. And really, the Aveda, not the Aveda, the object is really by him. And therefore, he has to now pay double. The same Kefel that the Ganav, the imaginary Ganav in his mind, would have paid, now he has to pay that Kefel. That's what the uh, that's the turn tennis ganav. Now, a shomer socho, usually, and that's going to be the whole issue today, a shomer socho should not be ever able to pay kefel of turn tennis ganav. Shomer socho is chayev even if there was gneva. So even if there's gneva and he swore and he cried and he said, made shvua, and he said that really was stolen, so what? At the end of the day, that shvua wouldn't do, wouldn't do anything to him. That shvua really wouldn't make a difference to him. And therefore, in that case, the Shomer Socho, even if it came out that he was lying, that should make a difference. He doesn't have to pay Kefel. Why not? Because really, it was not the only turn time is gone if the person has to pay double for making the false Shvua, is only if that false Shvua, in its better version, its real version, had been true, would patter him, would exempt him. But that's not the case with Shomer Socho. Because Shomer Socho, anyways, high with Geneva. So now look at what uh, Abai claims against uh, against his Rebbe, against uh, Rabbi Yosef. He says, "The third time is gone of the Aveda, Hashem to Shlomi Kefel. The person who is Shomer Aveda and he was turned on his Ganav, he has to pay double. This al kedat Hashemer Socho, Avi, if it's a Shomer Socho, Amai Mishalim to Shlomi Kefel. Why does he pay Kefel? Can Abai Shlomi? He shouldn't pay Kefel. Really, he should pay the Kenan. He should pay the Kenan because." What, what what does Kefel have to do with anything, right? Mishalom Tishlumi Kefel of Tarantanis Ganev basically is a synonym of Shomer Chinam. And a person looking after the Aveda has to pay Tarantanis Ganev. That means he's a Shomer Chinam, not Shomer Sochor. So how can you, Rav Yosef, say what you say? Omer Lei, Rav Yosef replied to Abaye, Och Mimais Kinan, Higon Shet Tarantanis Listim Ezuyon. How perfect, amazing answer. Really, the Shomer Sochor claimed a thief came to my house. But you know what kind of thief? A thief that came in Mizuyan. He was armed. He was Mama Sharabar. He came stealing from my house. I was actually attacked at a gunpoint. He came with, with, with guns in his hands. And therefore, that's called Oynes. And Oynes really is obviously a situation in which Shomer Sochor is Potter. Only Shoyl is Chayef. Shomer Sochor is Potter. So that's a turn on his ganav by a Shomer Sochor, including Shomer Aveda, whom I believe is a Shomer Sochor, says Rabbi Yosef. Because it's a list of it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an oinus, it's a ganav, which is really oinus. It's something by force, something which was beyond my control. 
I don't know how to face the armed people. Omer Lay, so he replied, and he said, Listim is Zuyan Gazlin who? Listim is is a Gazlin. At least a person who comes with a gun in his hand, he doesn't have to pay kefel. You only pay kefel, not if he just said anything. Turn to his gun if it's only if you claimed that the person stole from you and that thief would have been chayv kefel. But if it's a, if, if the person is the least is doing is a is an armed thief, is a robber, the highwayman or people who come violently into the house with guns in their hands, he's a gazlan. A gazlan person is not scared of anybody. He's not scared of Hashem as much as he's not scared of people, and obviously vice versa. He's not a hypocrite kind of person. He doesn't have to pay kefil. So which kefil are you talking about? If it's oinus, there's no kefil. Omer leh, and here comes Rav Yosef's punchline. Shani oimer listim ezuyan, kem in the mitzvah mi'in shiganavu. Says Rav Yosef, no. The listim ezuyan is the perfect blend. It's just what we need. It's a combination of oinus and gneva, meaning mitzvah mi'in shi. The shomer, excuse me, the, the listim is a person who hides from people. He lives in a cave, and then at night or during the day, he comes and he covers himself, he covers his face, comes, he's, he does threaten people, he's violent, and he's like oinus, but Lamaisa, he hides from people. So he's more scared of people than he's scared of Hashem. Therefore, he does pay kefel. Ah, we found the perfect, perfect case for Rav Yosef. Here we have a Shomer Soho that a Shomer Veda, which Rav Yosef believed is a Shomer Socho. A Shomer Socho has to pay to Antanas Gan even if it's extremely specific case. If he claimed that he was uh, that he was robbed by gunpoint with a knife, why? On one end, it's oinus, and therefore his Shavua is effective. Because for Shomer Socho, really to be to be to be attacked, that's oinus, and oinus Shomer Socho is potter. On the other hand, if he made the Shavua and it came out it was a lie, and really it was a it was a list him, there was um had it been a list of Mizuyan, he would have to pay kefal because the list of Mizuyan does have to pay kefal because he's a Ganev, because he's scared of people. Mimele, it's both Gneva and Oynes together. Mimele, now that it came out that he lies, because he made the Shvua that, A, the two conditions to the Shvua of Tarantan is Ganev, the Shvua would have been effective. The Shvua would have, is invo does involve Tashlum Kefal because according to his tall tale, according to his lie, there was a person Chayev Kefal involved. That's Mizuyan. That's Mizuyan. Mimela, now that it's a lie, he himself, the Shomer, the lying Shomer, the dishonest Shomer who lied, Lashekel, Nishbal Shekel, has to pay double. That's Rabbi Yosef's shot. And here, that's really the basis for the entire Amud we're going to see today. ACV. Now comes the whole load of questions and answers regarding Rabbi Yossi's uh, shot. ACV. Yeah. Okay. We see a brisa. Yeah. Now in Nunzai in Amud Beis. Lo im amata b'shem machinam shekim shalim teshlumi kefel toimer b'shem asocho she'eno im shalim teshlumi kefel. Says a brisa, a classical idea. B'shem machinam. Pays to Shlomi Kefel, meaning Yeshem Rechina pays to Shlomi Kefel because it's a toy in Tanis Ghana. Yeshem Rechina that lied and said it was stolen. It's an effective Shvua. And if it came out that that effective Shvua would have been effective, but it's a lie, Nishmal Shekel, it's to pay Kefel. As opposed to Shemr Sachor, which never pays to Shlomi Kefel because he has no toy in Tanis Ghana. But him, a toy in Tanis Ghana just wouldn't be effective. That's obviously a question on Yosef. If you say the list of Mizuyan is a Ganav, and Nimza Shemar Socho, Misham Tushlomi Kefel, we turn to the list of Mizuyan. If Shemar Socho claimed that a list of Mizuyan came to him, that Shemar Socho would have to, would have to, he patters himself, it's an effective Shvua, according to Yosef, and now if he's a liar, he has to pay Kefel. So why are you telling me Shemar Socho never has Tushlomi Kefel? That's not true. Amale says of Yosef, no. Achikoma, this is what the Brisa means. Loim amalt b'shom achinam. He's re-reading the Brisa. Loim amalt b'shom achinam shekin v'shalom tishlum b'kefel b'chol ta'noisol. B'shom achinam in any tiniest gneva says Rashi kloimar. Yeah, b'chol ta'noisol, which means kloimar kol tiniest shali deiganav ben mizuyan ben enchan mizuyan. B'shom achinam, whether he claims mizuyan or not, b'shom achinam lo mishane. B'shom achinam, any kind of ganav in any event, b'shom achinam always has to, would always be potu by any gneva. 
Therefore, his shvua is always effective, and therefore, if he's a liar, his lying effective shvua would make him be mishalom kefel. Very good. I am right, says Rabbi Yosef. Of course, uh, Shomer Soho has time uh, list in Mizuyan, but this time of list in Mizuyan is a rare, it's, it's, not, it's not always. You know, if a Shomer Soho really would claim that a, a regular Ganev came to his house quietly, scared and unknown, in that case, a Shomer Soho would not be potu. A Shomer Soho is not potu on regular Geneva. No way. No, he's not. And therefore, the time of that case, would not patter him, and if he's a liar, he wouldn't be mechaev him. Ah, only list him Zuyan, that's one out of a few cases, and therefore it's still true to say the Shomer Chinam always pays kefel, but the Shomer Sochor, it's only in the case of list him Zuyan. So Yosef still stands on his two feet. ACV. Another question, another claim against Rav Yosef's chat of Trentanis Ganev. ACV says, it says in the Torah about a shoyel. Shoyel is the person whose responsibility is above both Shomer Chinam and Shomer Soho. A shoyel is the person that he borrowed. In the borrowing, he gets all the fun, all the enjoyment, all the benefits for nothing. Therefore, he's chayv even the oinus. Nishba or meis. If the item or the animal is broken or dead, the shoyel, the shoyel excuse me, is chayv. Says the Braisa. Only Mesa. I only know about Oines Shavu of Mesa. Gneva Vaveda Minai. How do you know that a Shoimer, excuse me, that a Shoyel is Chavan Gneva Vaveda? Says the, the Brysa Poshut, of course, about the Kalvachomer. That's a clear Kalvachomer. Uma Shoimer Sochor, Shapotor by Shavu of Mesa. If a Shoimer Sochor who were more lenient about Shoimer Sochor is more mitigating because Shavu of Mesa, you're Potter on. Because a shoy, excuse me, Shomer Sochor, when it comes to real oinus, is potu, and yet chad gneva vaveda. When it comes to gneva vaveda, which is more obligating, of course, gneva vaveda is something which is negligent, yeah, level of negligence, and he's chayv on it, of course. Shoyel, shechayv shvo vamesa. Shoyel is always more severe than Shomer Sochor, even by oinus, even something out of his control, is chayv to pay. Of course, something which is not out of his control, but is like middle of the way negligence, of course, a shoyal would be chayv. The Brysa finishes off with a strong statement that this Kalvachomer, there is no way you can refute this Kalvachomer. Some Kalvachomer you can, some you can't. Says the Gemara, why? Wait a second. You are now telling me basically, to cut a long story short, what are you trying to tell me now? That a shoyel is really always, always more severe than a shomer socho. Wait a second. And tshuva, well, why I'm saying tshuva? Why? If you're right, Rav Yosef, if you write Rav Yosef, your mechadish list to mizuin is a ganav, the person who comes as an armed robber, which I would say is like an oines come ganav, and you say that is a ganav that pays kefel, my animal of tshuva. Why are you telling me that this type of is so, so, you know, Waterproof or tiny proof that there's no tshuva. Why? He called me from. I can question that kalvachomer. I can break the kalvachomer. Wait a second. A shomer socho, precisely because his potu on oynes and list mizuyan is an oynes, but it's an oynes that pays kefel. That's a very interesting hybrid that Rav Yosef created. A shomer socho because his potu. His shvua would patter him, would exempt him. And that would be what? That shvua that would patter him would be effective. And therefore, if he's a liar, now he has to pay kefel. A shoyel, on the other hand, would actually here come out better. If a shoyel comes and swears, oh, the list of Missouri came to my house. Who cares? You don't, you don't have to start getting dramatic and giving me shvua, because even if we believe you 100%, the list of Missouri came to your house, Mr. Shoyel, it's oinus, you chayv on oinus. So even if you came out that you're a liar, it actually doesn't make a difference. You stam nishbal sheker, that's very sad, but your shvu is not effective. So at the end of the day, actually what comes out is very paradoxically interesting that a shomer sacher here is more severe and more chomer than the shoyel. The shomer sacher would have turned on his ganav and would have to pay kefel by lying, and the shoyel would not have to pay kefel by lying nishbal sheker because this will make a difference. Hey, so according to your Yosef, yes, we can, 
claim something against that Kalva Choyma. Amar lei, kasomar haitana, no. This Brisa believes the following statement. Karne beloi shvua, adifa mikfeilo beshvua. The Karen, the actual value of the item that they talk about without being shvua is better, is more up to discussion here, mikfeilo beshvua, than kfeilo with a shvua. Says Rashi, I want to quote one line in Rashi, at the end of Rashi here, the Maschah Karne beloi shvua, and that explains everything in this Rashi. It says, Knasa mishum shvuahu the cancer of mono, which means Knas, really, let me let me say it in my own words. Really, a shoyel is always more severe than a shomer sofa. A shoyel has all, all the responsibility, he's high the oinus, shomer sofa has less responsibility, and he's not enjoying it, it's in his cupboard, he's not getting benefit from it. And that shomer sofa, there's nothing he gets from it. I mean, he gets the money, of course, he has more responsibility than the shomer chinam, but he's less than a shoyel. Ah, what about the Shavua? Shavua doesn't really reflect the level of Chumra of the Shomer himself. Shavua is a separate story you have because you lied, because you're Nishbal Shekel, because that was the, your response when the person said, hey, where's my item? Where are my candlesticks? Where's the money? Where's the cow? And you responded, the Shavua Shekel, oh. So but the Shoyel were being more lenient precisely because the Shemir is more severe and vice versa, it's a seesaw. But really, the real chumra obviously is b'shoyel. It comes out paradoxically that the shvua, as a result, would be the opposite of the shmira. But really, to describe the level of shmira, rather the level of the shmira and the obligation of shmira b'shoyel are, are more severe. The shvua is a separate item. It's a byproduct in the margin of the story and doesn't reflect the real the real chumra of a shomer socher versus a shoyel. Oh, now finally, we're actually trying to bring a proof for Rabbi Yosef. We're trying to prove Rabbi Yosef's point and maybe bring a siyua, get help from uh, Braisa uh, to prove like Rabbi Yosef that a Shomer Soho is actually, um, that a Shomer Aveda is a Shomer Soho. Let's see. A Soho Po Mechaveroi, one second, please. One minute, let me pause a second. Let's see the brayzer. Let me say it. A soicher po mechaveru v'nignavo. Here we're talking about a soicher. Soicher is the fourth one of the shomer. We have shemachinim shem soicher. Soicher. Shoyel we spoke about. Soicher is the one who rent, rents the renter. And there's machloekis as to the status of the soicher, the one who uses it for money. If he's like a shomer soicher or shomer china. Now soicher po mechaveru v'nignavo. He got stolen from the Soicher. He really got stolen. In this case, actually, the Soicher is being very honest. Says the Soicher, Although I could be Nishba, I could have sworn, I could have done Shvua and get away, get, get away with it and, and really be exempt. I prefer not to do that. I want to pay. I'll pay you, the owner, instead of being Nishba, even though had it been Nishba, I would be Potu, and it's Geneva. And a potter in Gneva, I decide to take the super honest, good route and pay an at Nishba. The Chakach Nimza Ganav, later on, the Ganav was found. Really, there was a Ganav. Yes, the Soicher is an honest person. There was a real thief there in the story. Now, the fact that the Soicher actually uh, volunteered, so to speak, to pay the owner, he now became, in lieu of the owner, the Soicher is now the owner of the Kefel. Now the gun of the real gun of that came to his house, the kefil that he has to pay goes to the soichel, the nice honest guy, and not to the owner. Okay, so we see one thing here for sure, that a soichel, had he been nishba, he would be potu. He's volunteering and saying, no, I could be nishba, I could be potter, but I want to be super extra nice and good. So what do you see? You see that a soichel by could be really nishba and be nishba and be potu. Oh, they thought originally that this Brisa follows Rabbi Yuda that says that a soicha is the status of an oisah socho. Hmm. A soicha is like a shoimer socho. If he says, I decide, I choose to pay a nat binishba, meaning, that is to say, the other option would be that he could actually exempt himself by being nishba. So you see that the Shomer Soho 
can be nishba, he got stolen. The case here is gneva, he got stolen, he'd be potter. How could that be? Since when is Shamar Sachor potter b'shvua, be, be, be b'gneva, mechitesi. Echidami, what's the case? Mm -hmm. Must be the only valid case that we can find is Rabbi Yosef's magic formula. He going to katoin tainus list mezuyan. He tainus tainus list mezuyan. Yeah, no. So you see, you see, claimed list mezuyan. Not only that, but ktani the achak achnim tzagan of misham tushnu mekefel asoichel. You see that the the end of the story was the ganav, i.e. the list mezuyan, which was, there was really a list mezuyan. And you see what he has to pay kefel to the soicher shmamel list mezuyan ganavu. So you see, Listim is doing himself, if he's caught, he has, he's a Ganev that has to pay kefal. That was Rabbi Yosef's Chiddush, that Listim is doing, he's a Ganev, even though he's very brazen and he forces and he hits and he comes with a knife and a gun, the Maisa, he's scared and he's a Ganev. Yeah, he's frightened of, of people. So he's a Ganev that has to pay kefal. No, you see, Rabbi Yosef is right from the Brisa. Answers the Gemara, no. The Gemara rejects that and says, no. Amri misobot ker biyuda. The Oima Soycha Kenosha Soho Dami, how do you know? You assume that we follow a Buddha that says Soycha Kenosha Soho Dami, they'll make a male sviole, maybe hold like a be male. The Omar, Soycha Keshama Schinam Dami, no, we hold like a be male that holds a Soycha as a Shema Soho that takes away the whole Raya. You assume that a Soycha is a Shema Soho, therefore your entire castle was built on that. But if a Shema, uh, if a, excuse me, a Soycha is a Shema, Chinam, Yisach has Hashem Rechinam, then of course, is Potter of those Gneva, and of course, we don't have to talk about Listim Mezuyan. No Listim, no Mezuyan, it's a regular thief, and of course, Hashem Rechinam is Potter by a thief, and Yisach has Hashem Rechinam. Or alternatively, we make like a, a tweak in who holds what. The Machlif Rabbi Baravua, Vitani, Rabbi Baravua switches the opinions with the names, Vitani, Soicher Ketzad Meshalem, how does the Soicher pay? Rabbi Meir, Omer Keshem Rechinam, Rabbi Yudom HaKashem HaChinam, he just says the other way around. Rabbi Meir believes it's Hashem HaSocho, Rabbi Yudah says Hashem HaChinam. That's answer number one. Rabbi Zera Omar, Rabbi Zera says something else. Ochem HaMai Eskinan, what are we talking about over here? Betoin Tanis Listim Mezuyan, Venim Tzalistim She'en Mezuyan, says Rabbi Zera, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant answer. He says it like that. Again, Rabbi Zera also wants to reject this as a raya, and claim that this price about the Soicher who claimed that it was stolen from him doesn't necessarily prove that Listim Mezuyan pays Kefal. Why? Because that's the story. Trying to honest Listim Mezuyan. In other words, it's true that he claimed he's a Shoimer Soho. Even if we say, look, we originally wanted to say, we're going back a step, that really the Soicher is a Shoimer Soho. Everyone agrees, not only Rav Yosef, Everyone agrees, Rabbi Rav Yosef, and whoever he wants, that if a person really came to him with a gun blazing, and the guy is like, ah, of course, this is Oynes. And of course, if he claims Listim is Zuyan, then his Shvua does patter him. Your attempt to prove Rav Yosef's point was from the end of the story, that there was a real Listim is Zuyan found, he really pays Kefel, and that Kefel, because the Sarcha was being super nice and pays instead of swears, oh, we say, okay, he goes, and he pays the, the, then he pays Kefel to, to the Soicher. How do you know? Maybe the end of the story, it says, Nim Tzaganev, he claimed, the person claimed the Soicher was listed Mezuyan, came out at the end of the day that the Ganev was regular petty thief. Ganev came in the middle of the night, all hiding and crawling and scared, and not Mezuyan, no arms, no shmarms, no, no, uh, no knife. And of course, such a person pays kefel. That's not a question. That's not part of the Chiddush of Rav Yosef or anything. So the Brisa works very well with Shamer Sochor. And yes, there is Shamer Sochor that receives the kefel because he's being honest and super honest and he bought the kefel rights because the person who's really the Ganev was not a list of Mizuyan like he claimed. He half lied. He said it was a list of Mizuyan and really wasn't a list of Mizuyan. What was it? It was a regular Ganev. Then he gets the kefil. He gets the kefil because the regular Ganav, of course, pays kefil, nothing to do with Rabbi Yosef. So I'm not saying Rabbi Yosef is wrong, but we can't prove Rabbi Yosef from the rights of Shemr Sochor. That's all we're saying. Thank you very much. It's Lachar and have a good night. Thank you, Koltu. Bye bye.